Ben Affleck is allegedly terrified that he could never get away from Miss Jennifer Lopez. If you say her name three times in the mirror, she will appear. Listen, if you are new to my channel, hello, please let me introduce myself. My name is Sebastian and I spill pop culture tea videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. So grab a snack, grab a drink, hit that subscribe button. I am covering all things Diddy, Kardashians, Jennifer Lopez, Britney Spears, Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber. I mean, you name it, I'm covering it. So listen, if you're looking for a new messy bestie who feels like we're on a FaceTime call and we're gonna be spilling all the tea, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. We're all on our way to 87K and I would just be so grateful. All right, best friend. So we gotta talk because there are new reports saying that Ben Affleck is terrified that he will never be able to get Jennifer Lopez to be quiet about their divorce. I mean, listen, she did do two albums and a movie because of their love. Can you imagine what she'll do with a divorce? Ooh, looks like Ben Affleck is a little bit concerned over Jennifer Lopez after she just can't help herself but to talk about the divorce. So it says here that he would love for her not to talk about it, but he feels like she will always speak out. He didn't get a heads up that she was going to talk about their relationship, but he assumed that it would eventually happen. It is part of his life just as much as anything else. He's never going to get away from it. The insider said Affleck is okay with however Jen has to deal with it and is aware that his ex has always been one to talk about her personal life. People deal with loss and breakup in their own way. And this is what Jen had to do and Ben has to accept it. He would like to keep some stuff to himself, especially major details about their relationship. Lopez detailed her effing hard breakup in an adept chat with Nikki Glaser this week in which she talked about her life blowing up in her face. It feels lonely, unfamiliar, scary, she told the comedian for Interview Magazine. It feels sad. It feels desperate. But when you sit in those feelings and go, these things are not going to kill me. It's like, actually, I'm capable of joy and happiness all by myself. When I was young... I never needed anyone all by myself. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, being in a relationship doesn't define me. Okay, I'm a survivor. Can we just um <clears throat> take a second? Because uh, Ben, the glow up is glowing, girl. The glow up is glowing. Okay. Mm -mm. Look at those pecs. You could literally do a drum set on them. I mean, Ben, okay, girl, I see you. <laughs> we see each other. Anyways, girl, listen. I mean, J Ben Affleck knew what he was getting himself into. She did a whole ass two albums and a damn movie, okay? <laughs> the greatest love story never told. The, 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 the album back then and the album now. I mean, girl... <laughs> I mean, unless you got amnesia, bitch, you knew what was coming. You do not have to be that so raven to know that she was going to talk about it. She is she is in love with the public. She is in love with being famous. She is in love with attention, in my opinion. Doesn't mean that that's a bad thing, but he's just more private. But you should have set boundaries in the very beginning. That's all I got to say. What so listen, here's the thing. You know, I don't have any doubt in my mind that Jennifer Lopez is going to... I think she's going to squeeze this lemon until there is no more lemon, until the lemon says, ma'am, ma'am, please let me go. Ma'am, ma'am, you know, very much Titanic. Never let go. I never let go, Jack. But you gotta let go, girl, because there's no more, there's no more juice in that lemon, bitch. Stop squeezing the damn lemon. Um, but for real, girl, listen, you know, I feel like for Jennifer Lopez, um, this, you know, she already did her first interview where she does talk you know, she doesn't mention him by name, but she does talk about how it almost took her out and how painful it was. And it was a lesson that she had to learn. I told you guys that I have a feeling that Miss Jennifer Lopez is going to be releasing a book. I just could see the book like Jennifer Lopez, Life After the Storm. And then her face like, you know, like, could you not see that girl? Come on, girl. Could you not see that with your Jennifer Lopez after the storm? Like, girl, it is it, it, the book is going to write itself. Um, I will say that Ben Affleck, you know, he knew what he got himself into. I mean, they've already done this rodeo one time before. You know what I mean? Like, their, their 
their union the first time, you know, 20 years ago was such a spectacle and it was so huge and it was like the biggest couple in history, you know, they couldn't go to a Starbucks without 50,000 paparazzis, right? So what did they expect for this time around? Did they think that their fame was lower because Jennifer Lopez has not stopped working a day in her life. You would think that Jennifer Lopez was seriously working to pay her monthly rent. I mean, the way this woman never takes a damn break. Uh, but you know, you, you're not going to get, listen, you're not going to get that from Jennifer Gardner, right? That's just, let's just, you know, balance it out. You'll never get that from Jennifer Gardner because she knows how to be private. Jennifer Lopez is addicted, in my opinion, allegedly to fame to the public. She feels like she she needs to constantly give herself to the public. When in reality, if I'm being quite honest, it's none of our business who anybody is dating. Now, if you're a public figure and you want to put your stuff out there, then it's then it's fair play. But a lot of a lot of celebrities keep their relationship super private. You know, we don't know anything about Adele's fiance. We don't know anything about Lady Gaga's fiance. Hell, we don't know anything about Lana Del Rey's husband that she just got married. They know how to keep things private, but Jennifer Lopez thrives off the attention, in my opinion. And it doesn't mean that that's something wrong. It just means that, girl, she just loves attention. You know what I mean? She is she is obsessed with the attention, in my opinion, because if she really wanted to, girl, listen, if you want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. You gotta, got, you got, guys, if you have not watched Sister Act or Sister Act 2, please go watch it, girl. You know, the singing nuns. Ooh, it's so good. You know what? What I, girl, I really want to join a chorus. Like, I don't have, I don't have a good voice, but I want to join like a, like a gay man chorus. Um, You know, not only to sing, but to make friends, but like, I'm so intimidated, bitch. Anyways, can you imagine me in a gay chorus? Joyful, joyful, Lord, we adore thee. It would be so freaking cool. Anyways, um, uh, what was I saying? Girl, I've totally blanked out what I was saying, bitch. Hang on, Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck. Oh no, I, I was gonna say something good too, I think. Anyways, girl, it'll come back to me eventually, maybe <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, no, but listen, the other point I wanted to come across is that Jennifer Lopez, if she, oh yeah, if she really wanted to, they could have kept this a secret. They didn't have to go to all these red carpets, but they were going to the opening of a damn envelope. Listen, you didn't have to do all that. You did not have to do all that, ma'am. Okay, you could have literally kept your relationship as private as possible, okay? You didn't have to go to all these events. You didn't have to, you know, do, uh, be in all these magazines, the paparazzis, all these things. You could have avoided it. How could you have avoided it? The first thing you could have done is kept it private. You didn't have to go and talk about it all over uh, in interviews or make a damn fucking movie. Movie, highlighting the greatest love story never told girl it became the greatest love story that only lasted two years like you did not need to do all that right but listen who needs to cry over spilled milk honey the next relationship you get into if you ever decide to try it again with ben affleck i'm gonna just ask you to please you know just this time around don't include us don't include the world you do not need it at the end of the day your relationship is yours to take and yours to have do you know what i mean if there are so many celebrities that have public relationships with other public figures and we don't know anything about it, that means it's possible. So no more posing in the red carpet, no more this, but I get it. She loves to show off her love because she's so proud of it because she loves love. I totally understand that. But at the same time, I'm like, girl, you can't keep living for the fame. You have to start living for yourself because at some point, as you saw in this year, how quickly people turn their backs on you and you don't want that again. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. I just wanted to wish you guys a beautiful Saturday. I hope you guys have fun today. And if you're working, girl, that's good too, girl. Make that money, honey, okay? Make that money, girl, and treat yourself to something nice. If you've been doubting something that you've been wanting and all your bills are paid and all your responsibilities are covered, treat yourself, treat yourself. Okay, all right. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Do you have anything you wanna to say to them? He's like, girl, I, I will say it with a fee. I will say it for a fee. He left, oh, girl, you're showing your privates. You can't show your privates on YouTube. Oh, look, 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 look. Anyways, girl, I love you all so much. Girl, he can't get away with from me faster. You, are you camera shy? Ooh, girl, he got away with me like Ben Affleck got away from Jennifer Lopez. I gotta go, bitch. Bye.